About a year ago now, I did a video titled How to Porge a Block Foundation, which I have a block foundation and the parging on the block was failing, which the parging is kind of like a decorative slash protective layer uh, on the face of the block. But anyway, I took the camera out. I showed you how I scraped off the old stuff, how far I went with the scraping, how I cleaned it up, how I applied a primer, um, how I mixed up my parging mix and how I applied it. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests lately to do a follow-up video. So here we are one year later. In a moment here, I'm gonna take the camera outside. I'm gonna show you how everything is looking after one year. But before I take you outside, I do wanna give a big shout out to Mike Harat. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And he's, in my opinion, probably one of the best Mason masonry teachers on YouTube. So I do wanna give a shout out to him. I recommend you check out his channel. Great teacher, great instructor. Anyway, let's take the camera outside and let's see how things are holding up after one year. All right, so before I made that video, this is the first 40 foot piece of foundation that I did, uh, kind of to get my practice in to make it, you know, look good on camera. But here's what that first 40 foot section of foundation looks like after one year. And everything looks really good. Now, people kind of question you know, are there any stress cracks in anything that you did? And in this piece right here, I see absolutely no stress cracks. And reason being is because this is such a sandy mix. This is two parts sand to one part Portland. And because there's so much sand in here, it, it really allows things to kind of expand and contract a little bit and therefore preventing cracks. Another thing that you can do to help prevent cracks is just trying to make sure that your mix is not too wet and of course you don't want to do this uh, in direct sunlight because direct sunlight may cause the mix to dry out uh, too quickly and therefore when it dries too quickly it kind of shrivels up. So just to prove to you how, how well stuck this stuff is on the block, just slamming this with a hammer a couple times and that is solid. You know, you can see some of the imperfections here where I wasn't, you know, the best. Like, that that's barely noticeable. It's like a really small dimple right there. But, you know, it's got that human touch, you know, that handmade touch. It's not perfect, but it's, you know, it. this section came out really nice. I'm really proud with how this section came out. You know, if you wanted to unify the color a little bit more, something else that you could do, you could wet this and you could paint this with Portland and it just make the color a little bit more unified. But in my opinion, this looks really good and it's holding up extremely well, as I expected, after one year. Here's another section that I did last year, and as you can see, this section gets direct sunlight for a good part of the day. And what's different about this section compared to the first section that I showed you is after I finished this section, I actually painted it once again with Portland, so that's why it kind of has uh, a little bit of a, uh, almost like a darker gray color. It's a little bit more uniformed. But uh, again, there's no cracks right here, and I'll go down along this whole stretch right here. Hopefully the camera's picking that up, but everything looks really good right here. Do we have one crack right there? No, that's a spider web. Sorry, the uh, sunlight's pretty rough on the camera right now, but that's, that's just a little spider web right there. I'm trying to find a crack for you guys, because I know there's so many people out there that want to see a failure job here, but... Uh, no cracks right there. Continue on to the, uh, the other side of the front porch right here. And this is the part that I got on camera. So let's see if we can find a crack over here. As you can see, this part of the foundation does get a lot of sunlight directly on it too. Is there a little crack right there? I wouldn't call that a crack. It looks like when I painted this with Portland, it looked like maybe a little bit of water ran off right there. So that's why you see those little streaks right there. But this section looks really good so far. Here we are, we're in some shade right here. So hopefully this, uh, this looks a little bit better. I will say behind the tree, it's a little sloppy. I will confirm that, but uh, you know, it, it's fine. It's behind the tree, nobody's really ever gonna see that. But you know, the spot where I was able to get full control over the trowel and really smooth this out nice. Like this section right here looks really nice. I'm really happy with how this came out. So I did this entire section of the foundation last year. That corner was tricky. I did all that and you could see where I stopped. This is the original stuff here. 
And if you wanted to match that, all you have to do is wet that and paint that with some souped up Portland cement. Just take some straight Portland, mix it up in a cup with water until it's kind of like a paint, and just paint that puppy right on. And that'll pretty much match in color. No big deal. So let's kind of go over everything that I saw and I'll share some of my thoughts. So of the whole job that I did last year, I did not find one crack. I was trying really hard to find a crack and I'm sorry I couldn't find any cracks, which to me that just tells me that I did a good job. Now, how well adhered is the parging to the block? Because a lot of people give me flack that I didn't use you know, wire lath and this and that. Uh, Usually, I'm not a fan of wire lath, and, and Mike Haddock uh, really goes into detail on what happens with the wire lath, but you know, over time, any, any moisture that's sucked in through the parging, it'll get to that galvanized lath, and galvanized lath, you know, it, it has a lifespan, you know. Uh, eventually, water will get into that galvanized lath, and it will rust, and it will expand, and it will fail. Like, if you ever go on the interstate in the Northeast, and you look at some of the bridges, uh, look look at what happens. Look at look at the rebar. What happens moisture gets sucked in uh, It gets into the rebar the rebar rust the rust kind of like expands and crumbles and it pushes out chunks of concrete You know, it's the same principle. It's the same idea behind the wire lath. So I'm not a fan of the wire lath. So why that adhered my why my parging mix adhered so well to the block I think is because of a couple reasons one proper prep work, you know, we chipped off all the loose stuff uh, then we wire brushed it and we wetted it down, cleaned it up with a hose that just cleaned out any of the, the dust that was stuck in the pores of the block. We got all that out. And then also really importantly, we used a primer, which that was a Portland kind of like paint mix. I used a little bit of a bonding agent mixed in with Portland, mixed it up like a paint and just used a paintbrush and kind of applied that right on the block. So, you know, when I took the hammer and I hit my parging, it sounded really solid. When you hit a piece of parging that is hollow, it's going to sound really dead. Uh, you, you, you know, when you go out there and you take a hammer and you start swinging around, you're really going to be able to tell the difference between something that is hollow and something that's solid. But from the section that I hit with the hammer, I wasn't going to do the whole, you know, the whole parging job. But the, the little section that I decided to hit, it was solid as a rock. So adhesion, uh, it adhered really well to the block. In terms of cracks, we saw no cracks. Now, for the people that are concerned about the color difference between the new stuff and the old stuff, I mentioned earlier on in the video, if you wanna match the color, all you gotta do is just take the old stuff, get it wet, and paint some Portland paint that's you know mixed up with water into a paint, just brush it right on there. Even go over the new stuff, like in the front section of the house, uh, after I finished parging, I got it wet again, and I just, brushed on some Portland paint to just kind of get like a unified color over the job that I did. As you can see, I didn't do that down the whole section of the house, which, you know, if you're, if you're that OCD about it, you could absolutely do that. You know, it's completely up to you, but don't be worried about matching the color. All you do is just take that Portland and paint it on and, you know, you can make everything match. No big deal. You could do that every year if you want, if you want to really get it perfect. The final thing that I want to note upon, you'll see that there are a few imperfections, like a few like low spots, which I'm sure the camera kind of magnifies that. But, let, you know, I did this job by hand. I used to be a perfectionist, but you know, throughout my life I've realized that it's kind of unhealthy to be too much of a, uh, a perfectionist because, you know, life isn't perfect. You, you gotta learn to live with things that are not perfect. You can't make things perfect, you know, you could try, you know, I, I think there's a, a good sweet spot between perfection and good enough. So. I guess they're coming for me. But anyway, I'm really happy with how that job came out. A few low spots, but if you're really that OCD about it, you could always go back in there with a little bit of parching mix, you know, make it a little bit light and just go right over that and then just paint it up with some Portland and get it perfect if you really want to get it perfect. but. I'm really happy with how everything came out. It looks really good. And you know, for those few areas that had some imperfections, you know, the shrubs are gonna be hiding, hiding they're, they're really gonna be hiding that 99% of the time. So, but that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave a comment or question down in the comment section below and catch you on the next one.